Hey guys, Nova here. I made a post about what content I should make. I do appreciate the feedback on there. So the ones posted will be taken into consideration and I did think of some while reading everyone's ideas. Again, thank you so much. This video is going to focus on the Hunter's Sword. I will probably make separate videos for other weapons as well to keep things organized. I'll try to cover its photon arts, the visuals, the PA rotations, skill tree recommendations, etc. First off, Hunters focused on close range combat while stat boosted with high HP and defense. It uses a sword, wired lances, and partisans. The skill tree is very simple. Since we're focusing on the sword in this video, we will need Warcry, which will aggro enemies towards you, Hunter's physique reduces the damage you take and prevents you from getting knocked around by enemies, Flashguard also reduces damage taken. Iron Will will leave you at 1 HP if you take a fatal attack. Omnidirectional Guard allows you to guard with a hunter weapon action in all directions. Slow Landing Charge reduces your fall speed when you charge your PA attacks. Hunter Physique Short Cycle basically shortens your Hunter Physique active. Sword Attack Extra, I think by default you have 3 normal attacks, so this lets you chain up to 5. Sword Guard Counter is basically your sword weapon action counter and Sword Guard Counter Plus allows you to follow up with a normal attack after the weapon action counter. Sword Arts Overcharge increases the PA damage when charged for at least 3 seconds. Same Arts Skip Attack lets you skip to the third normal attack string if you chain two same PAs together. And another Arts Skip Attack is basically the same thing, but you chain two different PAs and skip to the fourth normal attack instead. Hunter Arts Avenger triggers if you take a hit when unleashing the Hunter Photon Arts boosting its damage. Hunter Arts Perfect Parry will negate any attacks you would receive. And Hunter Arts Parry Advance extends the iframe period when you successfully unleash a PA with the Hunter Arts Avenger passive. Sword Arts Charge Avenger will automatically trigger your PA once the PA is fully charged applying the Hunter Arts Avenger to the PA you charged and Hunter Earth's Avenger PP gain will recover some PP when using the Hunter Earth's Avenger passive. I also have a guide video of the Hunter skill tree and will link them in the description. So if you don't know what all the skills do, I do have videos with visuals to help you better understand them, so feel free to check them out. We also have its Photon Earth, Spiral Edge, basically a vertical ripper slash, but you can also gain a bit of height. Twisting Zapper is a wide AoE attack moving you forward. Relentless Cleave is a new PA added to the sword dealing big damage if you fully charge this. This also gives you a bit of range as well. Caliber Streak has 3 attack variations, each being chargeable. Not very good for mobbing but is very good for bossing. Now in terms of Photon Art combos, honestly in my opinion Thinking about PA comboing is hard to do with PSO2 NGS since it has a lot of things that are viable in every person's point of view. I am no hunter expert but what I would do is start off with charging the twisting zapper PA. Reason being is that it sometimes whenever you're bossing or mobbing, enemies tend to move a lot. And the sword PAs don't have a lot of mobility other than the twisting zapper one. So I would fully charge up the twisting zapper, closing in on enemies. Following up with a Spiral Edge PA, charged or uncharged, and then following up with Relentless Cleave. Again, charged or uncharged. You can also mix it up between the Spiral Edge PA and the Relentless Cleave one too, but it's much better to do the fully charged version since you can also activate the Hunter Earth's Avenger passive to counter attack and do bonus damage. And since the sword has the ability to automatically trigger the PA upon taking a hit, you don't always have to look out and time your attack with enemy attacks. Let's talk about the Caliper Streak for a moment here. As you know, it's a PA that locks you into place and you cannot move while you're charging this PA. But here's a catch. If you're charging the PA while on the floor, if the boss is down and you're next to it charging the PA, you will step forward and you might slightly miss your target. Meanwhile, if you charge the PA while airborne, you're locked in place still, but you will also not move when unleashing the PA while airborne. But yeah, it's better to do the PA while airborne so you don't lose your positioning while attacking downed enemies. You can actually mix and match when charging the caliper PA as well, but they don't combo with other PAs. So you can do like two uncharged into the third charged, or the first charged into the second uncharged into the third charged, and vice versa. 
I should also mention, if you successfully sidestep a normal attack, you'll cover a lot of distance as well. And if the counter is successful with the weapon action or the sidestep version, I would always follow up with Spiral Edge and then Relentless Cleave. Just to make it look fancy, but also dishing out more damage. But yeah! Hopefully this helps better improve your sword gameplay. Just be sure if you want to dish out bigger damage, pre-charge your PAs, and if you can, counter attack and follow up with the combos I've mentioned earlier, and charge your caliber strike PA while airborne so you don't lose footing and stay in place. Again, I'm not a hunter main, but I have a general idea of how hunter sword is played. There's no frame data involved, so this is strictly just for optimal playstyles and how you can implement them into yours. But yeah, I hope this helps. If it did, I would appreciate a like, sub to the channel for more PSO2 content, let me know your thoughts on the sword, please feel free to share this with anyone who's interested in swords, but yeah. Hope you all have a good day or night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care everyone.